Hello, good morning students. We're in the student book, the student reader, and we're going to practice a little bit with listening and note taking. Uh, I'm on, uh, I'm in chapter six, unit six, um, the one about risks and challenges. And we're here on page 136. I've got a little program I use sometimes to write called uh, Bamboo Paper. You can find it for free online. <clears throat> uh, and uh, and I, use a, I use a tablet when I write, so uh, that's another one of my secrets. I have a, um, an artist's tablet. <clears throat> uh, so uh, let's give this a try here. And uh, uh, in the unit, um, they want us to practice with uh, uh, symbols. And in this case, uh, it's using arrows to indicate cause and effect. So we're going to look for some opportunities uh, to use uh, the arrow, okay, for, for cause and effect. Let's give this a try. Page 136. Comprehension. Hi, Jeremy. Thanks for taking some time to meet with me. That's okay. So tell me, why did you decide to go on outward journeys this summer? Well, I wanted to have some new experiences and learn how to do some new things. Those were my main goals. And why were those goals important to you? Do you know? Um, yeah. I think it's because I'm 14 years old, but I'm the youngest kid in my family, so everyone thinks I'm the baby. So I wanted to prove that I'm not. You wanted to prove that to your family? Yeah, and to myself, too. And do you feel like you're proving that now? Yeah, definitely. I'm doing a lot of new things, and it feels great. Really? But don't you sleep outside at night and walk in the mountains with a heavy backpack? Isn't that hard for you? <laughs> yeah, it is hard. But that's why I joined Outward Journeys. I wanted to have new challenges. And doing challenging things is really exciting. Uh-huh, I see. So what kinds of things do you do? Well, a few days ago, we went whitewater rafting, and yesterday we went rock climbing up this really big mountain. Wow! Did you know how to do those things before you came here? No, and I also didn't think I could do those things, especially the rock climbing. Weren't you afraid? Yeah, I was super afraid. When I saw that mountain, I said, there's no way I can do that. It looked really scary. Well, sure. Didn't all the kids feel the same way? I guess so. Anyway, after I did it, I felt like, wow, I really climbed that mountain. It felt amazing. That's the really cool thing about outward journeys. You learn that you can do a lot of things even if you're afraid. So it sounds like you're discovering some new things about yourself. Yeah, I feel much more confident. I'm not really afraid to do anything hard because rock climbing up that mountain was the hardest thing I ever did in my life. Our group leaders say that most people are really strong inside, but they just don't know it. I see. So when you do these difficult things like rock climbing, you can discover how strong you really are. Right. And that's really exciting. I can understand that. But aren't some of the things you're doing a little dangerous? Aren't you all a little young to take such big risks? No. Our group leaders teach us how to do everything, and especially how to be very careful. So we are doing some difficult things, but it's really not dangerous. We always feel safe. Well, you do sound like you've become a very confident young man. Thank you. Okay then, Jeremy. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your experience. Thanks, I will. 
Hey guys, wait up! Okay, well, I think it went okay. I believe I missed a couple of little details, uh, but uh, uh, they always ask us to uh, listen a second time and then we can add to our details. So uh, I, I could possibly add to this uh, if I listen to it one more time. Uh, I don't think I did a really good job with uh, um, uh, 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 using the uh, um, arrows uh, for cause and effect. So um, and I'm going to uh, go back and uh, listen one more time. Uh, I, I can see that uh, uh, I, I'm starting to use some question marks uh, to indicate that um, th that uh, uh, these are questions that the interviewer interviewer is using, and I think this is something that I learned from uh, Spanish. Uh, but uh, you, you know, using codes and symbols that you understand uh, can be a helpful thing. So. Um, uh, I, I don't think it's uh, really too much of a problem uh, to uh, invent uh, a new uh, symbol or a new way to uh, take notes. Uh, let's give it another try. Maybe we can uh, uh, add to our notes and possibly clarify. Page 136. Comprehension. Hi, Jeremy. Thanks for taking some time to meet with me. That's okay. So tell me, why did you decide to go on outward journeys this summer? Well, I wanted to have some new experiences and learn how to do some new things. Those were my main goals. And why were those goals important to you? Do you know? Um, yeah. I think it's because I'm 14 years old, but I'm the youngest kid in my family, so everyone thinks I'm the baby. So I wanted to prove that I'm not. You wanted to prove that to your family? Yeah, and to myself, too. And do you feel like you're proving that now? Yeah, definitely. I'm doing a lot of new things, and it feels great. Really? But don't you sleep outside at night and walk in the mountains with a heavy backpack? Isn't that hard for you? <laughs> yeah, it is hard. But that's why I joined Outward Journeys. I wanted to have new challenges. And doing challenging things is really exciting. Uh-huh, I see. So what kinds of things do you do? Well, a few days ago we went whitewater rafting, and yesterday we went rock climbing up this really big mountain. Wow! Did you know how to do those things before you came here? No. And I also didn't think I could do those things, especially the rock climbing. Weren't you afraid? Yeah, I was super afraid. When I saw that mountain, I said, there's no way I can do that. It looked really scary. Well, sure. Didn't all the kids feel the same way? I guess so. Anyway, after I did it, I felt like, wow, I really climbed that mountain. It felt amazing! That's the really cool thing about Outward Journeys. You learn that you can do a lot of things even if you're afraid. So it sounds like you're discovering some new things about yourself. Yeah, I feel much more confident. I'm not really afraid to do anything hard. Because rock climbing up that mountain was the hardest thing I ever did in my life! Our group leaders say that most people are really strong inside, but they just don't know it. I see. So when you do these difficult things, like rock climbing, you can discover how strong you really are. Right. And that's really exciting. I can understand that. But aren't some of the things you're doing a little dangerous? Aren't you all a little young to take such big risks? No. Our group leaders teach us how to do everything, and especially how to be very careful. So we are doing some difficult things, but it's really not dangerous. We always feel safe. Well, you do sound like you've become a very confident young man. 
Thank you. Okay then, Jeremy. Thank you. And enjoy the rest of your experience. Thanks. I will. Hey guys, wait up. Okay, my pen is uh, starting to get a little bit messy here. Uh, he said that we are doing some dangerous things, uh, but it's really not dangerous. Uh, it sounds like you're uh, getting confident. All right. Well, um, we will also uh, do this listening in class, uh, and uh, I hope uh, uh, this has been. Uh, well, you know what? I, uh, let me go back uh, and uh, review these notes just a little bit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, they, uh, the interview asks uh, uh, Jeremy why he decided to go on Outward Journeys this summer, and he said that he wanted a new experience, uh, he wanted to learn new things, and, and uh, uh, those were his goals. And why were these goals important for him? Well, he's only 14 years old. He's the youngest kid in the family. They think he's the baby of the family. Uh, and uh, he wanted to prove something to himself. Um, and uh, the interviewer asked something like, do you feel that proving uh, this uh, is important to yourself? And he answers, he wanted to prove it to his family and to himself, and it feels great. And uh, don't you have to do uh, some very difficult things? Um, like uh, sleeping, uh, uh, sleeping on the ground, uh, and, or sleeping in uh, sleeping bags, uh, I don't remember, um, and carrying a heavy backpack. And he uh, answers, yes, that is very hard, uh, but he wanted challenges and uh, he feels, uh, and it has been uh, really exciting. <clears throat> Uh, what kinds of things do you do in Outward Journeys? They go uh, whitewater rafting, uh, they climb mountains, uh, and uh, let's see. Um, he, uh, uh, he didn't think that he could climb the mountain, didn't think he could do it, uh, and that it would be too difficult, especially the rock climbing. <clears throat> Uh, I think he said it was the most difficult thing he has ever done. The interviewer asks, uh, wasn't he afraid? This is, uh, this is uh, an example of a rhetorical question we're going to see. Uh, and he said that uh, it was super scary. Uh, and uh, I don't remember why. I, uh, when he saw the mountain, I, I have an eyeball here, when he saw not working. When he saw the mountain, it was super scary. <clears throat> uh, and uh, didn't all the kids feel the same way? Uh, the, this is another rhetorical question. The interviewer believes he probably knows the answer that all of the kids probably felt the same way. <clears throat> uh, and after he climbed the mountain, it was amazing. Uh, and uh, I tried to show some cause and effect here. I wasn't very effective with that, using that symbol. That uh, uh, when you uh, go to outward journeys, uh, you learn that you can do things even if you are afraid. Um, the interviewer says something like, uh, it sounds like you are discovering uh, a lot about yourself. Uh, that uh, I believe this is where he says that climbing the mountain was the hardest thing he ever did. The group leader at Outward Journeys uh, is teaching him, is teaching them uh, that people are strong on the inside. Um, and then the interviewer has a cause and effect uh, statement. So when you uh, do different things, uh, you destruct you discover how strong you are strong you are there's a you you are okay so uh, you need to clarify your notes after you're finished writing I'm not going to 
try too much because my pen is not working very well. Um, aren't you a little young uh, to take risks? Uh, he says uh, no, uh, and I believe he answers that um, the group leader uh, it, it teaches them how to do things, and uh, we are very careful, uh, and it's not dangerous. <clears throat> the things they do are, 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 are really not dangerous. Uh, uh, and, and here I use my symbol for change or become, uh, and uh, the interviewer says, it sounds like you are becoming a very confident young man. Well, students, I hope that that was a little bit um, helpful to you. And uh, I will see you uh, later in class.